I don't think Andrew is joining, right? It's quite late for him. Yeah, I, I think so. He he actually a couple hours ago he he asked me if I'm ready to for the call, but yeah, but he's in in UK, so it's quite late. All right, so where do we start? I think the the sheet that you've created is probably the best place to start. Mm -hmm. uh, maybe let me share a screen, or are we all looking? Yeah, I can look at that. Yeah, yes. Yeah. Okay, so I have it open, and I think the uh, maybe we can go through the episode one in terms of structure, and just discuss like which pieces have to be included and where to source them. Because essentially what we want to do is produce that podcast sometime, you know, soon. So whether, it, I don't know what's realistic, but like Wednesday, does that sound realistic? Uh, it depends on other people. So I, I will push it as hard as I can. Uh, but today's call will help a lot. Uh, let's, let's start with, yeah, if it's at one. That I added, I moved actually from Trello uh, your ideas of episode one and mix it with uh, the visions that I wrote before. And uh, it feels good. I just want, I would like to have your help, guys, uh, with who will uh, uh, or where to find this context. Like, uh, first part about uh, our idea of what this group emerges and everything like that. Uh, is it exist somewhere? Is it text or video or? Uh, some, some, somehow else, so we I can source it from this so place. This part I don't think it exists anywhere. I think there are clips that kind of uh, you know explain it from um, perspective of you know videos from week one talk about how we were fifty, then hundred, then four hundred, and you know stuff like that. But I think it will be actually beneficial to write a short um, paragraph or something. What do you think? Mm -hmm. No, I agree. And I'm just going to quickly share, we need to, to fill it in with something that's going to be useful for the press stuff to also give to the PR folks. Um, this is the start of a timeline spreadsheet so that we can, can be noting down, you know, when did we reach a certain number of people or when did the Wall Street Journal article come out or any of those different pieces mm -hmm. so that we can kind of get our, our, our story clear in terms of, of how things have grown. Mm -hmm. Okay, so let's... Uh agree on the fact that we need that short um, paragraph that explains what happened. I don't think we need to include things like website online, but we can cherry pick just the major ones. That's right. Yeah. Yeah. So this will be kind yeah. of a master list and then we can pull ones that'll be interesting in terms of the, of the podcast. Yeah. But guys, I saw somewhere in Slack before uh, someone shared uh, Google Docs with uh, like uh, media pitch about what's going on, what we do, who we are. Uh, am I right? I, I saw it somewhere, but I couldn't find it. So I thought it's a good point, place to start. We can, I, I hope it already exists, so we don't have to do it, especially for podcasts. Yeah, so, so there's, there's, oh, go ahead. You, you're talking about the general intro, right? What, who we are yeah. versus like yeah. how it emerged, which are kind of different things, you know, the story of how it became what it is and versus it is now, you know, kind of the, yeah. the timeline versus what it is now. I think timeline is a little bit too early before people even know what, who yeah, we are. Yeah, I agree. What, yeah. How it happened. In There's, later episodes, it makes sense. But first episode, I want to like set up the story. Like okay. where, what we do. Mm -hmm. And it on. exists. Daniel, can you add the document in, in here? Yeah, yeah, I'm trying to find the, I, I just was looking at the, the Business Insider one. There's somewhere where I know we've talked about specifically um, the whole sort of timeline of you, you know, the, the Kaggle piece coming in, um, you starting up the thing, more people flooding in and sort of how, how it grew from there. But I think what, but, what Evgeny wants, and I think it makes sense, is the actual, like one of these documents that we send to AI2 and others, which explains who we are right now versus gotcha. like how we became this. Yeah, so I'll, I'll, I'll pass I mean, over call to there. action document, kind of. Right. So there's, a, there's a couple. Let me. <coughs> throw one side. Here's what we sent to AI2, which, send, which gives a little bit of information. 
yeah, this, this one talks about how it was founded in response to COVID-19 challenge and this rapidly growing network. Um, a little bit about, you know, some of the people who were involved. Uh, somewhere, I'm, I'm still looking around for, I know there's one where we gave a bit more, more information. Yeah, 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 sounds like like this, yeah. One, one that I, I know, when I was talking to one of the local papers here, I sent two, uh, two emails when talking with their folks. Uh, that was a combination of little bits of detail of how things had started along with links to content that was relevant for them. So let me see if I can find that. Uh, I think I, I, I thought that it's already used, but uh, if not, I think it makes sense to create something that's called media kit, you know, when yeah. a media approach us and we send them there and it's already structured. If it's not structured yet, the podcast, the first episode is a good way uh, to start it. Yeah. So, uh, okay, yeah. And when, when, yeah, yeah. No, no, go ahead. No, I, I finished. I just, I just want to say that uh, when we finish uh, our first episode, it will be a good start point to build media kit. No. Yeah, and I think Tyler actually started it, right, Daniel? I, I think so. Yeah, I don't know what the what the state of that one is, uh, but I know he was he was going to be working on it. We have a, 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 the next link I put in here is around talking points, um, and again, it's a it's a work in progress as well, but it's meant to be the place where we can put some of those key talking points for different for for interviews and for articles and for press. I hate the fact that Zoom merges the messages without I know separation. <laughs> Talking points, yeah. Yeah, this one is good. All right, so I think we we should be good with this first piece, right, Evgeny? Yeah, yeah, I, from these documents, I can uh, um, take some pieces of the documents and create something like what, what uh, someone will uh, like narrow, but we need some, a host who can do it. I can do it, but I mean, my English is not, shouldn't be voice of the community, I guess. No, that's fine. No, I not, feel the not, same way. <laughs> I'm, 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 I'm happy to give a, give, a, give a go at that. And you guys can let me know uh, what, if, if you like that or not. Um, and if, you know, if uh, I do that and then it gives you the idea of, you know, we want something a little different, like let's have a, you know, a, uh, a woman's voice or, or any of those pieces we can we can find people if we have a few yeah yeah i i had an idea like ideal world if we have enough people who volunteer for this it would be nice to have different hosts every episode yeah. because that. you know we, we we prepare text for them so they don't have to think much they just delete it and it's good like introduce themselves and from their perspective introduce all these pieces and it will show that we are very different the like group of very difficult people and we are very horizontal in, integrated yeah. like you know yeah uh, so that's awesome I, 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 yeah so maybe uh we can start with uh after the first episode like yeah. represent mm -hmm. L, every, everyone and then daniel and then like someone else mm -hmm. I yeah well, i like I'm, that idea i'm down with that yeah okay cool uh and then maybe when we have specific episodes like we can have uh, next episodes like specific focus about like this group. What they do? We spend like half of the episode explaining about this specific group. Uh, I mean, team. Uh, what they do? What they focus on? What the challenges they have? What milestones? Success? Everything. And then like, half of the episode, everything else, but from that person from this group, also mm -hmm. like, uh, editing the talk. So. Yeah, kind of a like high level view, and then in the trenches on the ground view yeah 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 that, yeah that's why i want to finish uh in first first episode by uh to to show our structure like we have team they they like work on this and this and that um and next episode we will focus on each team uh, yeah i mean that content would even be great for the website too yeah just showcasing all the teams so far. For sure. Okay, so the second point, what is the main ideology of the group? I think, I mean, do you think it will be? Oh, no, I, I, 
Arthur, I, I think we right now we don't have to spend time on the call to create something because I can put parts from this document and add them. And then we all through, go through this and add and edit text uh, how we want to. But right oh. now to spend time to okay. like, create create from zero uh, this uh, text. It's like just let us know that. Already. Well, and we, and we can share sort of the, the underway uh, mission, vision, values pieces as well, because that speaks pretty solidly to that. Uh, I just, I know we may want to, um, to start more general um, until we have those nailed down, because I know that those are still kind of in, in process. Yeah. But, but at the very least, yeah. like, it, it, it seems like a key piece that, that, that we can share easily on there and that distinguishes us and is why so many people came right away from the Kaggle competition is that where other people were joining a competition to do something neat with machine learning, um, this is the group where like Arthur just kind of sent up that flare around like, it's cool if you want to do a competition, but if you're interested in trying to use machine learning to have the maximum impact on COVID-19 and, and that's the thing you care about, then, then this is the group for that. And it feels like that's, that's really the seed yeah. around which everything grew. Yeah, I, I, I wanted at least the first episode to build this way that for people who have no idea what Kegel is, what exactly. machine learning is, mm -hmm. you know, uh, and we, based on feedback of, uh, like, we will have comments on this uh, podcast. And based on this, we can build it more technically way or more uh, healthcare way or maybe like more general uh, or maybe I don't know what maybe what, what interesting will be for people maybe how it's organized will be more interesting uh, so uh, but first one the good point you discussed it before me I heard it that uh, we need to explain what Kegel is because two days ago I had no idea what it is <laughs> and I had to figure it out and now when I tell tell someone half of the time I explain what Kegel is and like you know so we should spend time on the first episode to tell about it i still think it's a good idea for us to quickly answer some of your questions in like structured way so i do think that the points that you listed out on the episode one like they make sense for example organizational structure um, so my hunch is that you get the idea that there are four teams right mm -hmm. but in reality there are eight teams yeah eight teams and that's because um, do you know what I'm talking about yeah, yeah I, uh, so it's a core like product product Teams, right and pro and four um, actually there are even way yeah. more teams if we're talking about the departments and there is like communications team there is coordinators team and if we include those I think that's also very good and we should do that but even beyond sure. uh, um, okay let me share my screen so that we understand it visually um, So this is kind of the vertical structure that you're seeing from the high level, right? There are four tasks on different uh, topics, risk factors, vaccines mm -hmm. and stuff. But in reality, they all do a lot of like redundant work that is also backed by these hor uh, horizontal teams such as data visualization team, machine learning team, NLP team, data set team. So there are eight just here. But obviously, there are communications team, there are coordinators. Oh. Yeah, it, it's complicated. Uh, <laughs> uh, but how, uh, it's very understandable when I see it on your screen as, as a chart, as a visualization. Yeah. But how to describe it? And how do. Yeah, I think for the episode one, we may stick with four just to make it simple, and then we can talk more about how it actually is like aid. And then we can talk about this ants colony, you know, movement of people jumping places, because these are very complex things to understand for someone who never uh, experienced it. And I think, um, I, oh, go ahead. Mm -hmm. 
Yeah, um, my, my, my vision is um, the first episode we should, we should cover everything possible to make people understand what's going on. May, not with details, but they don't have like feeling that it's too complicated to understand <coughs> that. Mm -hmm. uh, otherwise, they will drop and not listen next episode. You know, they will not even subscribe. So it's like uh, you know, like uh, in like back like 20 years ago, if you had the DLF modem. Uh, uh, it was two ways to download big picture. It's like download 100% quality, but from up to bottom, or it's yeah. download like everything very blur, then better, then better, then better. Mm -hmm. So I think we should do it second way, like everything yeah. blurry, but better, better, and better. Yeah. Uh, and main point of episode one to show everything very like high level, like we group of this, we have team. They vertically integrated, they horizontally integrated, and support team. Yeah. And then in future episodes, we will tell you about each group. Yeah, I like that. And I mean, to me, it seems like an exciting story. Like, if this is mainly for the public, um, a couple of the main strokes that strike me are again starting out with like Arthur setting this really high level goal, this very ambitious goal, and then having all of these people pour in to do it. And the image, I mean, I know, I think we, we've both been talking about that image of all of a sudden we're finding ourselves designing a jet while building it while flying it and that that's where kind of some of the the excitement in it for the public comes from is that that it's really a very um it's, it's a wild process it's a crazy ride trying to figure out like we're, we're rushing ahead on these different tasks that in themselves are very complex while also trying to build a structure around that while figuring out like who are these people who are building this structure like all of a sudden like, okay, now, you know, Shannon's been here for a couple of days and she seems like she's doing some pretty solid work. And this person who was over here had some amazing stuff that they were doing, but where are they now? We don't know. And just that this, we find ourselves in this total tornado of sort of chaos and are trying to, to pilot that whole thing forward. And I think there's a lot of fun stories that can kind of come out of that. I don't know what you think. Yeah, about but, but, but yeah, how, how to collect the stories and uh, like collect them in one, in one way because, uh, I have no idea about them. <laughs> yeah, I and think the best way to, to do it, honestly, is let's imagine that uh, 10 points of um, the podcast, as we discussed, each point is uh, three minutes. So uh, mm -hmm. essentially, let's make sure that each of these 10 points ask one single question. So that way we can, you know, ideally match the content or produce an answer if the content doesn't exist. So for example, for the first question, obviously there is no quick video to include, but we can write up a paragraph of text. For the second one, um, not sure. Maybe we can find some videos to address that. Um, the third one, um, I think that's gonna be a paragraph. So written text. Organizational structure, I think we have videos for that. I think we can source uh, some good stuff. Mm -hmm. um, I think there's a call with Andrew that talks about it a little bit. Uh, nearest goals, I think we have a couple of videos that talk about it, like that the current focus. Um, and the, some most recent tasks or accomplished tasks. Um, I think for I think, the first episode, it's not like this. It's like more the manifest of the group. You know, it's like what we ideally want to do. And later on, we will stay with us and you will see how we do it and if we reach our goal. Okay. You know, but it's most like first episode, it's like pitch for investors, you know. <laughs> like okay. Who we are, why we're here, what our how we're going to change the world. Well, let's, let's structure it that way then. Let me yeah. create the, the column here and, uh, and start like, uh, first one is basically who we are, right? <clears throat> but it's already like this, no? Uh, just not positioned as questions. And it's, it's making it easier to answer when it's actual question, at least for me. Okay. Uh -huh. So the second one, uh, ideology what's the i mean how do we re rephrase it what's our vision right 
let me see. I had it in that vision that I shared with you a couple of days ago, but I changed it to uh, I changed it with your text that you sent before. Mm. Yeah, I think I deleted it. Uh, so the third one, I would put, what's the the current traction? I'm just going full startup route uh, and thinking about like how how VC evaluates startups, like who we are, what's our vision, uh, or what's the yeah I mean what's our vision slash problem we are solving? Please, mm. I would I would pitch it like this to any VC. Then what's the current traction? which is the numbers and uh, next one is um, what's the current team then the nearest goals I think what are the next milestones yeah. no nearest goals I added it for the future episodes when we will talk mm. to each team it makes sense, but in first episode, it doesn't make okay, sense. Okay, that's New goals, like in general, what is our goal? As, uh, as yeah, goal? I think that's the second uh, question. So the next one, some most recent task. I think that this one we also move, right? And okay, so let's let's think about what's missing. Who we are? What's the our vision and problem we're solving? What's the current traction? What's the current team? And what um our uh, first mission something like what is our mission why are we here yeah that's the second one are you looking at the same sheet ah uh, yeah i see vision mm -hmm. yeah so yeah maybe what's our mission problem we're we're solving one thing I could see if, as a potential piece for that after the current team piece, right, where get, well, we're getting to the end of that first podcast, um, is that piece of like that, that, that first milestone of like, you know, where we're a few days away or, or by the time that this is coming out, we're essentially just reaching that first point of, of a first submission for, for Kaggle. What's the product? That's the one. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah. What's the current product? So that should answer what we're submitting this week. Uh, <coughs> going to structure the pitch deck. Uh, <laughs> that's why I, I was confused with mission because first of all, you say about problem, what problem the world has, and then how we're going to solve it, and then our mission, like what, uh, in the future, what what value we add to this world as a group of people. Maybe uh, we should organize it like this way. And uh, problem, then pro so solution, the product. Okay. And then, uh, and in the problem, we can start talking about Kego, uh, okay. because it started, started from this uh, thing. And, right. and vision is how we see the after that, like, okay, we solve this problem, yeah, and what what's next? Okay. <clears throat> because at least how I see, it, this for me was the most interesting being part of it is to try to build such horizontal integrated volunteering based community. You know, for me, it's more than this like solve bigger problem. And yeah. I think yeah. So it's kind of vision. So we we all try, or and we prove that it's possible, or we prove that why it's not possible. But we, we all learn a lot of um, lessons from this, and we do it as public as possible. So not only we learn the lessons, but a lot of people learn lessons with this. And we and in the mission, we also can uh, share some principles that we have, like uh, total transparency. Something I don't know actually what our <laughs> principles are. <laughs> I just know about transparency. I like it. Uh, yeah, transparency so far is the biggest one. Like it's just it's crushing any you know expectations of people when they see that we're recording every single meeting and it's on YouTube and it's annotated. They're like, wow. <laughs> yeah, that's cool. It's cool. I like it. So people can make their own research. Uh, and journalists, 
they like it when they have raw material. Yeah. We also teach them. They have information from us, but also they can access all the, the same information that we have, and they can make their own conclusions from that. Is, uh, cool. So how about okay? So we have who we are. What's the problem we are solving? What's the current product? What's the current traction? What's the current team? What's our vision? And I think we can end on this in terms of first mm. podcast. Yeah, yeah. I think not more than seven, eight pieces because mm -hmm. they, of course, will be more than three minutes. And yeah. <laughs> also, we need add, add time for narrative. Mm -hmm. How it's called? How it's called? I'm not sure. Not sure. When people behind behind the scenes, someone explains something. You know, the whole whole time. Yeah. Well, mm -hmm. this this is looking great. If someone would tell me I would reuse the the, the startup pitch deck template for podcast, <laughs> I would laugh. <laughs> the one the one thing I could see is that again the difference between how we like how we tell narrative to VC versus how we would tell it to the public. Or with the public, it really is that piece around um, you know the the problem and the crisis is kind of the the pivot point. Whereas for for in a VC kind of thing, you know, we if if anything that is is uh underrepresented you're saying like you know here's here's the here's the problem we're, that we're trying to solve and like here we're the right people for it and here's the product and all of that whereas for the public um it's a little bit more of the, like here's the problem we're trying to solve it's crazy big and like are we the right people to be doing this this is this is madness but we're trying um and and here's the ways that we're approaching all of the different kinds of challenges that come from just a group of volunteers trying to tackle something like this but here we are, and this is what it looks like we're trying to do. And I think we might want to think about like which which structure of narrative or something like that is going to be the one that's going to have people most on the edge of their seat. So that rather than it being them saying, oh, okay, they have an MVP that's defined, are they going to be able to deliver it by a certain deadline? It's more it's like, what are these crazy people doing? And like, where is this thing headed? Because <laughs> um, I think something like that is, is something that's pretty, I mean, I, I'd tune in for the next episode of that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I exactly. totally agree that pitching for people and pitching for VCs are different, some different, and one of them, people need to be triggered, like, to, to be, to want to, I mean, this is also one to no more, um, but I think, yeah, for, for VCs, it's more important, are these people uh, willing to do this, what they promise, and for people audience in general it's more interesting like story even if they don't but how they how they failed it's also interesting story yeah. to hear for them so yeah. uh, i think it's good to <coughs> let them know we, we uh mentioned that uh, that we record every every meeting is on youtube uh we uh, will like tell you everything just let us know what is interesting for you yeah, I mean, just mentioning that there are already more than like 200 hours uh, videos watched and things like that. People are just like, wait, what? Two weeks? 200 hours videos watched? That's crazy. Yeah, yeah and then anybody can join if, uh, if they think they can help. That's the important part yeah. that I just added as a as the seventh point, the ask. Yeah. Because like... We want to make sure that people that listen to this and get excited mm -hmm. also join. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. and, and, and I think that that's part of that story that like when we have people on the edge of the seat and they're like, like, wow, like this is a crazy group of people who are like compelling and obviously cooperative and like it's an amazing group. And it's like, you're only one form away from being a part of that group and being, being a, a piece of this amazing team that's doing some, some groundbreaking stuff. Oops. Okay, uh, can can uh, somebody add uh, for each each uh, time slot? Uh, like bullet points or something? Uh, what exactly will be there? So where I can find yeah. this? Uh, or, you know, like if it's a video, uh, what time yeah. in this video? If okay. it's text, let's write this text and make it up you will read it for the first episode. Um, so let's uh, l let me and Daniel uh, sync on that and probably spend some time asynchronously kind of assembling different pieces and then sync mm -hmm. for 10 minutes and like uh, filter out the, the ones that we think we should leave. 
and we should be good. Sure. Yeah, sounds good. Uh, I hope this call will be like, hey guys, we we'll, we already have all this structured. Right. Take it here. <laughs> <laughs> I think it's not okay. So let's use this episode, this uh, podcasting as a, a reason to structure it and as a like starting point to start because we should have something here like this because podcast is not just thing when we need it we will need it in future for sure so maybe ah by the way about podcast uh we should have podcast on our website to whom i should talk to uh to make this happen uh if you want to make that happen as soon as possible you can ping me if if not uh, there is rohan the guy who's um, creating a second version, a new version of the website, but that may take some time. I want both. I want uh, now on the current version of the website, just mention somewhere, uh, add one block. I, I think it's block block structure, right? It's something mm -hmm. like structure. Yeah. So let's just add one block about our contacts, where we post social media uh, and uh, podcast links to, to this, like, uh, Apple Podcasts, uh, Spotify. If you platforms. can give me the embed uh, HTML, I can easily embed yeah, I will. It in like one. Yeah, yeah, I will do. Uh, and for, I don't know what will be, I will figure out what next version of the website is, but it will be amazing to have some like dedicated page for podcast with each episode, mm -hmm. you know, with comments, with, yes. oh, maybe Anton will help with it. <laughs> Uh, Anton, we just talked about you. <laughs> no, okay. I'm, I'm, I'm joking. Uh, but uh, I'm dreaming to have a next version of the website with dedicated page for what podcast with each episode with like comments. Of, uh... The cool thing about the, the website is built on the webflow, which is a visual kind of CMS. And we can add these things very, very fast. Like if you want a podcast, basically like like blog posts, but blog, uh, but podcasts, we can add it in less than an hour. So super easy. Amazing. Yeah, it will be, it will be cool. So when we, because uh, uh, it's always a problem when you share, like if you, if you tell people, hey, here's our podcast, you have to choose platform because you, you send them link to Apple Podcasts, for example, but not everybody has uh, Apple device. You know, if you send them link to Spotify, not everybody everybody has Spotify, and it would be nice to have universal link like coronaby.org slash podcast. Mm -hmm. you send, and in there they can find, uh, they can choose where to listen it, or even on the website they can listen it without even download it. Like, you know, to have to get hooked on the first ep amazing episode that we're going to build uh, and they, uh, then they can uh, download it in the Apple podcast. Uh, so. <clears throat> yep, makes sense. All right, okay. so I think we're good. Uh, we're gonna fill those out as bullet points with different uh, content pieces. And then we should probably sync uh, maybe tomorrow evening. And Archer, do you have a spreadsheet or something that gives the master list of all of the different recordings that we have? Because there's certain ones where I'm like, oh, I remember at one point we talked about this and there might be a sound clip that would be you know, appropriate. So. That would be amazing to have. <laughs> <laughs> I think what we can do, I'm pretty sure we can use some integration to quickly like export all the videos from YouTube with okay. all the descriptions. And right. that, oh yeah, no, they're in YouTube. That's right, of course. Yeah. By the way, I had a question. Uh, after each call, someone had uh, take notes and send it in Slack, right? Do we have some archive of it? Notes? Uh, so actually, starting yesterday, we do archive. I created a private channel called YouTube Annotations, which has integration. Whenever new video is posted to Slack, uh, to YouTube, it pings uh, people in this in that Slack channel, and you have a list of those. And that's how we manage like who takes um, responsibility to annotate them. But that's a new thing. Okay, can you share it with me too? So I will, and for future episodes, I can see what's going, yeah. what's happened, some interesting happened since the last episode and we can uh, edit to the next. Mm -hmm. Just uh, be aware that, you know, there's going to be a lot of <laughs> these pings. Mm -hmm. 
Okay, thank you. All right, I think we're good. Anton, did, did you have something? No, I just saw the link and decided to trim in. This, this, what's up. <laughs> That's cool. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay, thank you guys. All right, okay, thanks. Great. Thanks, man. That's great work. Very yeah, good organization. Yeah. All right. Bye.